The first step for SCN management is really knowing if you have the pest, because that will help determine whether or not you would manage or how you would manage for it. So the very first step that we re recommend is to sample and currently for South Dakota soybean growers or South Dakota growers, you can sample for SEN for free because the South Dakota Soybean Research and Promotion Council underwrites that cost at SDSU. So, you know, help yourselves. We have extra sample bags with us on the table. So go ahead and grab some of those samples, sampling bags. You will find at least one in your packet, but if you'd like more, please grab some. So again, you want to sample just to see if you have SCN to begin with. If you do have it, kind of see what your numbers are, what your levels are, because in order to manage it, you need to know that you have the pest. The next big thing of management is rotation, rotation, rotation. With rotation, we want to rotate away to non-host crops, such as our corn, our small grains, and others. Depending on where you're from, you might have some sunflower mixed in or some others in there, but you want to rotate away to non-host crops. If you rotate to a crop that has or could have SCN or the potential to have SCN, what you would do is you're going to build up those numbers. So you want to rotate away to crops, to other crops. From there, the other phase of rotation, because there's three rotations that we say, the second rotation is rotate and utilize a resistant cultivar. If you've not utilized one of those in the past, right now it's a technology that we're not currently paying for. There are some options that will be discussed a little bit more in depth with Dr. Nathan Mueller here. And then the next phase of our rotation would be to just kind of rotate within your resistance lines if you are utilizing resistant technologies because eventually SCN can overcome the resistance that's available. So if we keep sampling to see how your numbers are going and you keep, if you rotate, you should hopefully keep your numbers down to a manageable level. You're never gonna reduce the problem. You're just gonna keep the numbers more at a manageable low level because it's easier for us to manage for SCN when SCN is at a low to moderate number. If it's high, it's a lot harder to reduce it from a high level to low to medium than it is to keeping it at bay when it's more on that lower level. So we talked about rotation, and then from there you really want to just manage your crop, have a healthy soybean, so really check the fertility level, control the weeds, really having a good idea of what's going on out in the field and just keeping that the best you can.